Nothing in life is better than good food and making something with your own two hands. And Blue Apron is the best of both of those things combined. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. All ingredients arrive right to your door, guaranteed fresh and ready to cook. It's better than eating fast food, plus it's affordable. Blue Apron is less than $10 per person per meal. Choose from a variety of recipes and get the meals that sound good to you, like the seared chicken and creamy pasta salad with summer squash and sweet peppers. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com top 10. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com top 10. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. Zelda is one of the most beloved franchises in all of video games, but let's face it, Link's not getting very far without his items. So hey, we're doing something special and we're counting down the top 20 Zelda items. And by we, I mean Nick, but he went out of town again and forgot to shoot the intro. So here's 20 through 11. I'm gonna start this list with a recent game, Breath of the Wild. If you've progressed far enough, you've probably acquired a little power-up called Rivali's Gale. And yes, Rivali's Gale does count as an item because it can technically be unequipped. But why would you want to? This item slash ability made getting around with your paraglider so much easier. Useful as it is, it takes a million years to recharge, and when it does, you've got to hear the voice of the biggest prick in the game. Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. You can't have Zelda without explosives, but easily one of the most inventive ways to make things go boom is with a bomb shaped like a mouse. Bomb chews are like those little wind-up toys you had as a kid if they could explode with enough force to blast boulders. They'll skitter along floors, up the walls, and even across ceilings until the fuse is out or until they hit something that needs to die. They can be pretty tough to line up properly, but in the hands of a skilled enough demolitionist, they are deadly. At the risk of contributing to the echo chamber here, I'm just gonna say once again that the fight against Star-Lord and Twilight Princess remains one of the best in the whole Zelda series. Main reason, the amazing set piece made possible by the spinner. With it, you turn the skeletal dragon's spinal column into dust and then jump from wall to wall, smashing into its cranium. But of course, the main drawback of the spinner is that it has almost no purpose after you clear the Arbiter's grounds, so we're not gonna give it more glory than it deserves. But while it lasts, it more than earns its spot in the top 20. There's more than one wind-based item on this list. With the Wind Waker, Link could control a part of nature itself. The wind, obviously. Directing the breeze to your heart's desire was the Wind Waker's main use, but you could also use it to warp around the ocean or even change the time of day. It's kind of like a less potent Ocarina of Time, but maybe we'll be seeing that one later. Everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes it's getting a little too brave in a fight, sometimes it's falling off a ridiculously high cliff, but in either case, a fairy would be there to pick you back up. So long as you've got one stuffed in your inventory, don't worry about that wall of fire or that swarm of bees. Just imprison a defenseless fairy and you're all good. After beating the first dungeon in Link's Awakening, we all thought the same thing. What the crap are Mario enemies doing in a Zelda game? But once Bow Wow joined up with Link, that's when we stopped questioning things. This thing is like the best guard dog ever. Pretty much anything that gets too close instantly loses its life, including Moblins. Your time with Bow Wow is unfortunately short since you're just on a mission to return it to its owner, but then it made its triumphant and trolley return in Four Swords. Link's arsenal just wouldn't be complete without a trusty shield. Most of the time, they pretty much just block crap and do almost nothing else, except for one, the mirror shield. Once you get one, there's really no reason to ever go back. It's shiny, it's a fun tool in puzzles, and even more fun in boss fights. In Ocarina of Time, the Mirror Shield was pretty much what made the fight against Twin Rova so much fun, absorbing the powers of ice and fire and then blasting them right back. Yeah, it's too bad you couldn't shoot those heat lasers again afterward, but hey, at least the Mirror Shield looks slick. No matter which game you're playing, Hyrule is a big place. Warping around only gets you so close to your destination, so what better way to get where you're going than something that takes you there even faster? The Pegasus Boots originating from Link to the Past let you charge right through everything from small grass patches to enemies, sometimes even walls to reveal hidden secrets. 
And as a small bonus, you don't even have to waste an item slot on them. They come built right into the B button. Talk about convenient. If we were ordering this list strictly around how often you would use an item, you would most definitely be seeing Breath of the Wild's Paraglider right here. But when you think about versatility, the Deku Leaf can do everything the Paraglider can and more. It's true that you don't use the Deku Leaf for gliding as much as you do the Paraglider, but the Leaf makes up for it with its uses while still on the ground. Unlike the Paraglider, the Deku Leaf can be a puzzle-solving tool by spinning propellers, snuffing out fire, or hilariously blowing enemies off of cliffs. You know, there's nothing quite like a good old-fashioned power trip. After acquiring every mask in Majora's Mask, you can exchange them all for the ability to transform into the Fierce Deity. The Fierce Deity's mask grants Link his most powerful form in the game, which can shred any boss in just a few hits. Problem is, you can only use it in certain rooms, which is why it's not in our top 10. Well, okay, you, you can use glitches to use it in Termina, but you still get the point. Still, shooting sonic booms out of your two-handed sword to decimate the toughest enemies in the game is one of the best feelings in all of Zelda. Limited use or not, we cannot ignore that. 